Schwerer Gustav was a German 80cm railway gun. The fully assembled gun weighed nearly 1,350 tons, and could fire shells weighing 7T to a range of 47 kilometers. The gun was designed in preparation for the Battle of France, but was not ready for action when that battle began, and in any case the Wehrmacht's Blitzkrieg offensive through Belgium rapidly outflanked and isolated the Maginot Line's static defenses, which were then besieged with more conventional heavy guns until French capitulation. Gustav was later deployed in the Soviet Union during the Battle of Sevastopol, part of Operation Barbarossa, where, among other things, it destroyed a munitions depot located roughly 30 meters below ground level. The gun was moved to Leningrad, and may have been intended to be used in the Warsaw Uprising like other German heavy siege pieces, but the uprising was crushed before it could be prepared to fire. Gustav was destroyed by the Germans near the end of the war in 1945 to avoid capture by the Soviet Red Army. Schwerer Gustav was the largest caliber rifled weapon ever used in combat and, in terms of overall weight, the heaviest mobile artillery piece ever built. It fired the heaviest shells of any artillery piece. In combat, the gun was mounted on a specially designed chassis, supported by eight bogies on two parallel railway tracks. Krupp named the gun Schwerer Gustav after the senior director of the firm, Gustav Krupp von Bohlen und Halbach. The gun could fire a heavy concrete piercing shell in a lighter high explosive shell. In keeping with the tradition of the Krupp company, no payment was asked for the first gun. They charged 7 million Reichsmark for the second gun, Dora, named after the senior engineer's wife. In February 1942, Heavy Artillery Unit 672 reorganized and went on the march, and Schwerer Gustav began its long ride to Crimea. The train carrying the gun was of 25 cars, a total length of 1.5 kilometers. The gun reached the Perikop Isthmus in early March 1942, where it was held until early April. At the end of the spur, they built four semicircular tracks especially for the Gustav to traverse. Outer tracks were required for the cranes that assembled Gustav. The siege of Sevastopol was the gun's first combat test. 4,000 men and five weeks were needed to get the gun into firing position, 500 men were needed to fire it. Installation began in early May, and by the 5th of June the gun was ready to fire. The 5th of June coastal guns at a range of 25,000 meters. Eight shells fired. After nine shells were fired, the magazine was ruined and one of the boats in the bay sunk. The 7th of June firing in support of an infantry attack on Sudwestspitz, an outlying fortification. Seven shells fired. The 11th of June Fort Siberia knocked out of action. Five shells fired. By the end of the siege on the 4th of July the city of Sevastopol lay in ruins, and 30,000 tons of artillery ammunition had been fired. Gustav had fired 47 rounds and worn out its original barrel, which had already fired around 250 rounds during testing and development. The gun was fitted with the spare barrel and the original was sent back to Krupp's factory in Essen for relining. The gun was then dismantled and moved to the northern part of the Eastern Front, where an attack was planned on Leningrad. The gun was placed 30 kilometers from the city near the railway station of Tetsi. The gun was fully operational when the attack was cancelled. The gun then spent the winter of 1942-43 near Leningrad. Edit. It was deployed briefly against Stalingrad, where the gun arrived at its emplacement 15 kilometers to the west of the city sometime in mid-August 1942. The Langer Gustav was a long cannon with 52-centimeter caliber in a 43-meter barrel. It was intended to fire super-long-range rocket projectiles weighing 680 kilograms to a range of 190 kilometers. The monster was to be a 1,500-ton mobile, self-propelled platform for an 80-cmk gun, along with two 15cm SFH-18 heavy howitzers, and multiple MG-151 autocannons normally used on combat aircraft. Comparison of different versions model caliber ammunition weight barrel length range total length weight Schwerer Gustav 80cm 7100 kg with 250 kg explosive filling, 4800 kg with 700 kg explosive filling 32.5 meters 39 to 48 kilometers 47.3 meters 1350 tons Dora Langer Gustav 52 centimeters 680 kg 43 meters 190 kilometers on the 14th of April 1945 one day before the arrival of US troops Schwerer Gustav was destroyed to prevent its capture in summer 1945 Schwerer Gustav was studied by Soviet specialists and in autumn of the same year was transferred to Merseburg, where the Soviets were gathering German military material. The debris was discovered by American troops sometime after the discovery of Schwerer Gustav's ruins. Part of the third gun was found after the war in the Krupp production facilities in Essen.